Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Colony Survival watching the sunrise here. And I thought at the top of this episode, maybe I would set the flight mode on. And we could take a look at where the castle's at. I've done some work in between episodes. So I think I gotta do, I'm gonna just see if I can remember these commands. Cheats on. Then I think I gotta do set light true and then I should be able to oh no is it not gonna work let's try it again F let's see no oh look at this I'm up in the air already okay here we go that's a little tricky. Yeah, so let's take a look at what our castle looks like from afar and from the safety of the skies here. Let's see if I can get a decent look here. There's our zombies coming through the maze. But check us out. We're getting pretty uh getting pretty big. I'm not sure how to go up and down, so I'm just gonna do it <laughs> point in the direction I want to go. But check it out. You can see I added some more layers to the castle. But it's looking pretty sweet. I got all, I think I got all the pillars. I guess we'll find out as we go around here. And that looks like either, that looks like our wood farm here. Oh, maybe I can take these out while I'm up here. Can I? Whoops. Yeah, let's get some of these floating trees. <laughs> I know this is a bit of a distraction. It's supposed to be the uh, tour. Anyway, so there's our courtyard for kind of growing uh, trees. This is basic wood there. And we've got all our farms. Kind of on these things that kind of jut out from the main castle. This little courtyard here, we're going to need to put um, a couple walls coming out for guards. And then hedge maze, hedge maze on either side of that. And then hedge maze all in front here. And we've got some of that started. Uh, a lot of what you see here is remnants of when I was going to try and have a single hedge maze swirl its way around the castle but i believe that is a problem for the game the pathing becomes too long for the zombies and then the colony ends up getting put into siege mode which is no good but yeah it's pretty much some semi-symmetrical it's not perfect there's another courtyard left open mainly for trees or olive orchards and then here you can see I started to experiment in this courtyard. Boy, I'm going to take out these trees. I'll do it off camera maybe. But uh, experiment with maybe putting towers on the very edge of the corner here just so we can have more layers of guards going after the zombies as they come around. And then I guess this we should be coming around to the front here soon. I've got another layer on top. We'll keep going up. We got more room for more crops here, some empty areas where we can put some farm plots. Also between episodes, I kind of changed the layout of some of the farms. Still not sure what ex what's the perfect efficiency. I'm not super concerned about having it perfect, but I did ramp that up. If you look in the top right, our food is looking way better. Remember we got down to like under a hundred and then our ammunition looks really good too. The arrows there at 10,000, that got down to like zero at one point, a few episodes ago actually. So that's back in good shape. Here's another courtyard. We'll put a maze and a couple guard walls. This, I believe, is our olive grove or olive orchard here. And then now we should be coming to the front. Here's kind of the hedge maze. We'll probably do this on all sides. Have a hedge maze where they can enter from the corner somewhere. So I'll have to figure that out. They can enter from the corner and then either head down this way and try and get to the banner or go through a hedge maze this way and try and get to the banner and we'll open up a path to the banner on all four sides of the castle. We filled in a bunch of the lake, but we still have some left. And then this is the front. Again, it looks like I've got all those supports in, so I think that looks pretty sweet. And these are meant to be kind of more open air because there are they are farms, right? Eventually, maybe we need to put some farms underground, but I think it looks a little more realistic to have them at least semi outside in the open. Obviously, these guys aren't getting much sunlight, but at least they're out. <laughs> at least they're out in the open air. And then our main castle is kind of closed off. I imagine we could put some windows or something in there. It looks pretty, uh, pretty fortressy. And then here's our main 
<clears throat> our main path to the banner right now. Again, we'll replicate this on the other sides. And we may rework this maze. You can see it's very non-symmetrical. This side is very different than this side. They're not very different. They're close, but they're different enough where it might be annoying. So we'll probably rework this at some point. And then I think on the other side, whoa, that was fast. Nothing here. Oh, this is, uh, I think this might be our forest thing again. Forest orchard just for wood. Then on the far side, I think we got started on a new hedge maze. Let's just go check that out. Yeah, so this might be a little, it's a little more symmetrical. Now the castle is not laid out perfect, so I think this side's actually a little wider than this side. I do think this is right in the middle. This, uh, these double walls are in the middle. This is closed off right now. We don't have anybody coming in. We may work on this today, uh, in this episode. And what we want to do again is kind of open up at the corner and allow zombies to kind of maze through here. So we need to complete a maze this way and then feed into this one. And then each side will be different. Before we had them kind of come in and they would loop around this way and zip in before they could go in. Um, we're not going to do that because we need to keep the path to the banner not super duper duper long. Otherwise, I think, I think, I could be wrong, but I think we'll enter siege mode if the pathing is too long for zombies to reach the banner. So we'll just have them come in on one of the corners, maze here, maze here, come back up, and then they can get to the banner. And then the same thing on this side. So that is where things stand with the castle, at least on the outside. We'll come on in here and I'll turn the flight mode off. Is that right? Let's see. I think so. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm flying anymore. All right, looks like we got the new shifts going. <clears throat> what else did I do? Maybe you can't remember if I did this last episode or if I did it between episodes. But I started setting up a new kind of sleep quarters arrangement for each floor. Basically, each corner of each floor is going to have kind of a dorm set up with 24 beds. So we've got 12 in here. Six and six. And then six and six over here. So we've got 24. And the idea between these guys... I mean, six and six is 12, and then another 12 is 24. The idea with these guys is they're meant to be the people working the farms. And we can, we'll probably rework some of these farms too. I don't think we need as many farmers on here. I think we've got six in this area, and we could probably get by with three and just have larger flax farms. Anyway, those are meant to be the farmers that are working in the corner areas. So if we have 24 farmers or less, they can all be stationed pretty close to where they're working. And then in the corners, I don't have it here. It looks like I may have forgotten. But in the corner here is where I want the grocer. Let's see. I've got one here. Let's uh, put those on the hot bar here, I suppose. Pop one there. Recruit for that. All right. So yeah, so the grocer ideally now is in between where they're sleeping and where they're working. So all of these three areas should be able to get to that grocer pretty easily through either one of these little openings in the castle. And then that pattern is just repeated on every corner. Now the first floor is a special floor because we've got the banner here. And eventually we're gonna path in we might, I don't know if we'll extend this wall or just leave the guards down here. I guess we should probably extend the wall. But this area is going to be kind of part of the defense as well. It's kind of the last defense for uh, zombies getting to the banner. And then here, kind of same thing. There, I do have the grocer, so we're in good shape. And then the other two corners are pretty much the same thing here on the first floor. Now, the there's a several things special with the first floor, like I mentioned. One is this middle area. We, we're going to need to use this maybe to place guards. Again, this is going to be kind of the last defense. 
The zombies will be able to come in from any of the four sides. This one we haven't opened up yet, so there's no there's no risk, even though it looks like they could come in. This is all closed off. Maybe later this episode or next episode we'll work on this. And uh, open up this side of the castle and then place some more guards. What else did we do? Oh, the other, oh, I was saying what's unique about this floor. The other thing that's unique are all the guards we have stationed, right? Particularly on this first floor, we've got these walls that are just shoulder to shoulder with guards. And then we've also got guards eventually that are going to be all the way around the perimeter of the castle. So tons of guards on this floor. So where are all these guys going to sleep? Well, my plan is I've dug out a lot of this area. It's not fully dug out yet. I've been kind of working on this between episodes. I've got diggers doing it. Um, I've had to be extra, extra cautious over in this area because this is where the lake used to be. And it could be just very, very easy to flood this area with water and flood the whole castle and all the floors below this with water. So I've kind of been pretty delicate at doing this bottom layer myself just so I can keep on top of the water. Now it's not, this isn't such an issue, but if one of these tiles had water, you know, all this stuff would, would fill up with water. So I'll continue to do that. Maybe between episodes, we won't spend a bunch of time here cause it's just tedious to watch when you fill all this in or clear the area out. The other thing that we've got going on in this first level down is our fish gathering and our water gathering. So I've got a bunch of, uh, looks like they're all pretty much in bed. Here they come. But I got a bunch of water gatherers here and a bunch of people fishing. I set up another row, but I don't have anybody placed yet where we can do even more of that work. And then this trench, I'm not sure what this trench is for. It doesn't need to be here. <clears throat> So we've got room to kind of expand it. Note, it's kind of one level up from the rest of the floor. But it'll do. We can route this water any way we want and have as many of these guys as we want doing fishing and stuff. And then I put the grocer for these guys kind of over here. Maybe I'll relocate that somewhere closer. But what I really want to do on this floor, why I'm clearing it out, here's the guy working on it right now, is this area down here is probably going to be a whole bunch of dorms for those first floor soldiers that we've got kind of guarding the castle. There's just, we need a ton of uh, beds in here to house guards. Cause there's just, there's just an enormous number of guards on that first floor where the zombies are coming in. And that kind of makes sense. So that's what's going on down here. We may get to placing some beds. I think I've got this kind of carved out for the, uh, the entire safe zone. You can see if I turn on or if I select the banner, you can see these walls are red. We're right at the edge of the safe zone. I think I've got that all the way around. But we'll put a bunch of dorms down here. We might put the um, workshops for weaponry and iron and stuff, anvils. Maybe we'll do that on this giant, in this giant area as well. It kind of makes sense to have those, uh, this guy's working on the iron and working on the anvils, <laughs> working deep underground here. Go for kind of the dwarven theme with that. I might have to build, I might have to dig out further here. Yeah, it looks like I'm not actually on the edge of the safe zone. Whoops. I am there. Oh yeah, I see. I've carved this out so we can set a digger up to uh, get this, but yeah. And that'll probably be as big as this floor ever gets once we clear out all this stone. But wow, there's a lot of room. We'll have a lot of dorms here. We'll have more stairways going up to the first floor. So right now it's a little inefficient for guards on the first floor to get to their stations. Because I don't know where they're sleeping. They might be sleeping a couple of floors down and having to walk up. So that's that. And then what do we got going on up top? So these floors, this obviously needs to be reworked. These beds were just thrown here kind of haphazardly. And I think these dorm areas need to be reworked as well. I've got a slightly more compact design, the new design. And like we saw, we're going with like 24 beds in each corner. And then um, for these first floors, the first three or four floors where we actually have guards manning the walls, 
we'll probably have, we'll probably fill in the entire wall with dorms just to house the guards. But then once we get so high in the castle where guards can't reach, that's where we're going to prioritize putting all of our, um, more of our workstations. And here, I think here is the floor. Is this the floor I intended to do that? Let me just check. I think so. I spent some time on this between episodes. There's our grocer. We don't have many farms up here yet, so no one's sleeping up here, and that grocer's kind of wasted. But eventually we'll have some farms in here. But this floor, we're pretty high up, right? I think we're, we might be out of range for guards to be of much use this high. I could be wrong. But assuming that's the case, assuming the guards aren't going to be very effective from this height, even if they're, uh, even if they're using guns, then it makes sense to use this for crafting area. So I've started to set that up here. And I've got a couple grocers set up here too. So we, we've got the original 24 beds in the corners. And then we've got more dorms in this middle area and crafting areas for our workers to do their thing. So here's a bunch of guys milling flour and olive oil. This hedge is just a placeholder for more workstations. And then we've got more dorms, another grocer there. And another work area. This one looks like it's all ovens. These guys are all doing their thing. That guy just got his meal, I think, and is going back to work. More dorms. And then here's our 24 in the corner that we normally have for the farms. Same exact thing on the other side of the wall. And that's kind of what we're going to do on, I guess, all the floors from here on up. So we'll need to set up the dorms here and set up more workstations more crafting stations. We've got um, several crafting stations to move. Like all of this needs to move up. Or these guys, the anvils, will probably move these guys underground. And what's going on over here? Some kind of, yeah, bronze making stuff. That can all go probably underground. And then again, we'll rework these other floors. But I'll try and do a lot of that between episodes. We may do a little. This has all got to be moved up. These guys are making cloth, I think, or linen. And then even on the first floor, I think we have some stuff to clean up still. Yeah, I still have some stage, some of the original stations. And new things, I guess, I've placed down that all need to move up. These woodcutters, they can probably go up a few floors, and then we'll clean up this. So that is the tour. First half of the episode, that is the tour of the castle. Let's get on. Let's jump right into working on this other side. Oh, the other thing we want to do, sorry. We want to do, uh, we want to get this hedge maze and open up the size, side of the castle for sure. But the other thing we really want to do is get moving on the science. I try not to do the science when I'm off camera. So that just kind of fits. I did spend colony points because as they accrue between episodes, I don't want to waste them. So we are right now, where are we at? Colonist capacity is now at 700. We've got quite a few more we can hire, I think. Yeah, 110 more we can recruit. So that's not urgent. County point capacity, we're at two and a half million. And we got to get to two and a half million before we can even upgrade it. But now the, the upgrades are, are pretty huge, actually. Colony point efficiency, we've maxed that out. So we're generating as many colony points as we can. The only way we can kind of increase that is get better at producing luxury items. Digger area, these are almost not, they're so tiny, right? It's almost worth just doing them to get it over with. Really not many points to doing this. Um, health, yeah, I could probably take some more health. Why don't we do that? And then the banner safe zone, we'll see. I'm going to hold off. I don't know how that would affect our pathing. I'm going to wait on this, but we will upgrade it, but not right now. I think I don't really need to expand. I don't think we're going to expand out, you know, horizontally. I don't think we're going to expand much more than what we've got because we're spending a lot of time on the hedge maze. That'd be hard to keep taking up or moving. But vertically, if we run into problems vertically, then we might want to do the, um, the expansion. We'll just see. There's a point, I think, where 
even though we've got a huge perimeter, there's probably a point where with our current design, we're not going to be able to place enough guards to hold off the enemy, but we're, we're, I think we're a long ways from that. Okay. So I talked about science. Let's do it. Let's make sure we're researching this stuff. I don't want to work our way to the matchlock gun. We need steel parts. The gunsmith shop. Let's uh, see what that takes. Lead. Okay. Use it in your pipes to destroy your civilization with lead poisoning. So I don't have lead and we're not mining lead to my knowledge. I don't think we are. Oh, we can actually get another tin miner down too. It looks like that's uh, not so great for our tin supply. So maybe we go after that first. We do want to move up the tech tree. And like I said, I tend not to do that between episodes. So let's go looking for lead. Like I said, food looks good. Let's just check the stockpile real quick, see if there's anything else burning, and then we'll head down. Tons of arrows. We've even got crossbow bolts. We're going to have to make some crossbows and leverage those guards here soon. Wheat's low. Bread's low. So we probably need more wheat fields, but food's okay, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on that. We just spent a bunch of time on food recently. Feathers, look at that. Awesome. That was zero not too long ago. Got tons of barley. Too much barley. 13,000. <laughs> 13, Honey is not so great. Fish is okay. Look at the cooked fish is at zero. We probably need more fisheries. But it's not urgent, I don't think. Berry meals. Yeah, we definitely need more bread. There's food stuff we could do, but let's, we've been doing so much food stuff lately. We get enough meals. We can get by. We got plenty of colony points. We're not waiting on anything in there. Let's go see if we can find some lead. Uh, down deep. I think we're going to have to go a few levels down. Unfortunately, this may require some manual digging. Let's head down. I don't think it's on the early floors. I probably could Google it and find out just where it is. This is as deep as we've gotten. And what do we have here? Now, some of you guys taught me some tricks here. Let me up my points. Let's see. If I clear out this and maybe clear out this get a couple free spots on my hot bar then as soon as i take something up it's going to tell me what the mineral is right we kind i think we know these i think that one's copper i think that one is i don't know gypsum or gold and that's tin or iron or something i think we need to go one deeper to get to the lead there's clay in here somewhere also are we can't remember that's doesn't look lead-like. Need to waste these ores, but let's do it. Let's see. This light one is what? Okay, the light one is gypsum. Okay, and we have some of that on hand. I think that's mostly from um, hand mining or the, the diggers, not the miners. Because that's not going up. I don't think we're actually using that yet. This obviously is the copper, right? Iron. Oh, my color blindness. Yeah. Iron. Okay. We got plenty of that. We are mining that. This one. Is clay. Pretty sure we don't have lead anywhere here. Let's start digging down. Looks like we got another floor here. Wow. I got to clear all this out. Oh, you know what I was going to do here was use the special digger. Why? To leave the ore. Let's try that. Let's try that. I've never, I haven't used that yet. Let's do it. I'm going to put, how do I want to do this? I think I want to start in one of these far corners. Let's see. I've never used the special digger. I don't know how to use it. So we're going to learn together. You guys probably already know. Construction. Special digger area. Remove a specific <laughs> remove a specific type in an area. 
select the area to remove it from. All right, special digger. We want to remove the stone. Ooh. Is this all the same stone? Let's uh, grab one of these and see what this is actually called. Did that just increment my stone bricks to 82? Yeah. That's stone bricks? Is that right? That seems weird. Let's see if this works. Construction digger. Whoops. Not what I want. Not what I want. Construction special digger. I guess we say remove the stone bricks? From here. Because that's what I got when I mined it. Or where they automatically turned into stone bricks. I'm not sure. We can get a digger. And I know we can place multiple uh, workers on this to make it faster. Usually I've got other things to work on while this is taking place. Boom. We'll head back, set up a crate, and let them dig. And I think this is going to leave the ores. We may do some hand digging in parallel here because we, we need to find that... Uh, we need to find that lead. Hopefully it won't take eons to find it. I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go one deeper, I think. Let's see. Where's our stairway go? We have to hook around this way. Let me move some of this out of the way. Let's go down a level. It's just going to take a second here to... Drill this out. Boy, it's slow to dig. Wish there were some upgrades on the hand mining. I don't think there are. At least I haven't seen them. All right, let me fast forward through this. I will be right back. Actually, before we go, what is that? Is that coal? I can barely see that with my eyes, but that's ore. There it is. That's got to be coal, right? Yeah, I've got that in my hotbar. So cool. I didn't even know we had coal. You don't want to go in there? There it goes. Get rid of that. So we found coal. I didn't even notice that. At least I don't remember noticing it. It's been a while since we've been down on this level. Oh, let's recruit a worker too while I got you here. Hopefully they'll come down. This is a long way. I need grocers. I need grocers down here. The miners, I think, are heavily neglected when it comes to grocers, and it's probably costing us some efficiency. Let's pop a couple of those down while we're thinking about it. We went here and maybe up a level. You guys, do you guys have a grocer? No. Nope. Tons? I don't think they do. That's probably costing us some inefficiency or has been for a while. Let's recruit now. Okay. Back down to the pit. All right, now I'm gonna fast forward. I'll drill through this stuff and see if I can't find the uh, lead. And if it gets to be too hard to find, I will have to probably Google it. All right, let's just see. I want to make sure I don't go too far. I think we want five floors, right? One, two, three, four, five, or five blocks. Five blocks to a floor. Let's uh, clean up some of this. I actually do want those crates on my toolbar. And let's grab some cement steps or stone steps. 
pop these guys down. That's one, two, three. Whoops. I guess I could have left that. Four and five. I think this actually might be our floor level here. One, and then we just want four and a roof. One, two, three, four, and then that's the ceiling. At least that's how we're doing it. I know it looks like the ores do show up in certain layers. Uh, oh, I forgot what I wanted. I think this is meant to be the floor. Let's pull this up. This is new. Should have left an empty spot on my hot bar. So I could see what that is. Um, what looks new here? Anything? Here it is. Salt Peter. Don't spice your food with this. Okay, it's something else. Something different. I'm guessing that's what I just picked up. We can try it again. Boom. Yeah, that's what I picked up. It's not what I'm looking for. And I kind of want the floor on this level. We may... We'll see if this works or not. It may not. This may be one of those things where the ore doesn't line up with where I want my floors to be. In fact, it looks like that's going to be the case. So let's see. We got to curl around this way if we want to go even deeper. And I think we might. A little more digging here. Hopefully these ores are present on multiple layers. Hopefully it's not just that, you know, one or two layers in between where we have our floors. Because we're going like four high on each floor, four blocks high. I'm trying to make things look somewhat uniform. It doesn't have to be. But uh, it's kind of the style I'm going for. All right, let me fast forward through this and I'll be right back when we get this dug out a little bit further. All right, that was quick. <laughs> so we found lead. Galena, lead rich, contains lots of lead. I'm guessing we're going to have to process that since it says lead, lead rich and not uh, just lead. Let's dig this out. It's these guys right here, these four kind of little cube looking things. That's the Galena. That actually looks kind of cool. We're going to try and stick to our little four high floors here. But it may not work. We may run into some issues. We'll see. Yeah, the digging is a little slow. All right, one. Let's see, we got one. It's kind of the ceiling level. Then one, two, three. This is our floor, I think. I think this is where we want to be. For this whole floor. Now, I'm not seeing a lot of ore. But we really need to only find one or two. Where we can place miners down. And just get this process going. And then we can get diggers to clear out a bunch of this other stone for us. Got that saltpeter we're going to need. I'm not sure for what, but I'm sure we're going to need it. Let's see. I'm going to keep digging for a little bit and see if we can find a good exposed chunk of um, that galena, lead-rich galena. There's a chunk up there. That's a little high. I'd like to find one kind of low. So yeah, here we go. Maybe I'll fast forward again. I'm going to hand mine this until I find at least one or two blocks that are convenient for us to uh, pop a miner on. Those ones that are high up, I know we could probably get them. 
but I'd like to find something just for aesthetics that's one or two levels up from the floor. So here we go. All right, I'm back. So it looks like, just from what I can see, looks like these two blocks, the first two up from the floor, there's nothing, right? There's nothing all the way around. And then the ores start kind of on the third block up. And then over here on this floor, I guess we didn't do, we didn't do a whole lot of digging over here to look for ore. I have a feeling this is all going to be dead zone. Or we're not going to find any ore at all on this level. So what we'll do, at least in the near term, short term, is I'll just set up some steps here. And we're going to have to just place some miners. We'll have to cut through our ceiling a little bit. And just place some miners over here. It's just, I don't know of a better way to do it. So how do we want to do that? Let's see. I want these guys to have a way to get up and a place to stand as well. Let's do this. I'll put a little platform up. Let's place a miner on the Scalina and at least get it started. I'm not sure how to process it yet. So miner there. Whoops, miner there. And then let's place a crate. I don't know, here. Figure this out a little bit. I think they only need two block height to move around. Could be wrong. And then we can put some steps. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's do the same thing for, I don't know, maybe this deposit, this deposit over here, maybe both of these. Again, we're kind of cutting into the ceiling here. We'll have to kind of mark this area off on the floor above so we don't go falling through the hole. Let's do something similar over here. Let's get. Uh, let's get a place for these guys to work. Not putting a ton of thought into this. We'll think about what makes the most sense uh, later as we go. Let's just at least get some little platform these guys can come up onto. Doc, I got to get this back a bit. And then, how do we want to do this? I want to make sure they've got places to stand and they can navigate this area. So they should be able to come up here and then work these two mines. Let's do miner, miner. One of these, one of these. Uh, that's not going to work, right? They can't get up. Ooh, there's another spot there. Uh, let's see. Not that. Crate there. Crate there. Another miner here. I can't remember which way these need to face. Let's uh, open this space up a little. So we got three miners. These two can share that box. This guy needs a crate. Um, let's take this back a little bit more. Get my cursor on the right spot so I can actually dig here. And I'm just making room here. I want to make sure they can all kind of walk to where they need to get to. Crate there, and then that can go, and that can go. Then, I don't know, should we put a grocer down here? I suppose we should. This is kind of a sloppy mess. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. But it'll get us started, right? It'll get us started. We can clean this up later, or I can uh, 
be between episodes or something. We'll get a grocer there and then we'll recruit for all this stuff. Recruit to fill all jobs. And then hopefully we will, uh, we'll start getting that going. That lead. Now let's see in the tech tree, if we can figure out how we need to process that lead or that Galena. I have no idea. So lead, let's see, gunpowder, lead bullets, a gunsmith shop requires lead in the stockpile. Okay, we're, we got a little bit. How do I process the lead? I don't recall. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's look here. Furnace. Not what I meant to do, but we'll do it. I'm just going to place one of these. I just want to see what this thing lets, tells me to do. Bronzing it's in bricks, so it's definitely not that guy. Workbench. Okay, needs. Let's place one of these anvils and see if they're the ones that do it. There's got to be a better way to find out. I don't know what it is, though. Jewelry rivets. Jewelry's waiting on gold and steel parts, wrought iron, sword, iron block, steel parts, crossbows, water pump, binary forge. It requires coax to create steel and gold ingots. That's not really what we're looking for, I don't think. Do I need to produce lead? It's lead rich. Has that been used? Maybe it's being used already. Uh, I have a feeling it is. Science? Nope. It's not. Stockpile. Alina, lead rich. Lead. Okay. So it's being produced in the bloomery. We've got a couple of those. We don't have a lot. We do have a couple. Um, we'll probably need to make more. If I have any in inventory here, I don't see there. They are. They got tons of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's this guy. Silver ingots, lead. Okay, so that's already in the works. Let's see if our guys made it down here. We don't have our builder down here apparently, or our digger. Right. Do we have a, oh, I thought we had something set up here to dig. Didn't we just set up a digging area or was that down here? No one's down here. I don't know if it's sleepy time or what, but no one's down here yet. And then, yeah, where's that digger area? I thought I set something up right here on that floor to dig a ton of stuff out. Maybe not. Was it here? A special miner? I don't know. Yeah, everybody must be asleep. So yeah, let's wrap this episode here. I'm going to do a little tiny bit of homework in between episodes. And then when we get back, maybe the hedge maze or we'll look, we'll spend a little more time looking at the tech tree to make sure that we're on our way towards the, uh, towards the guys here with the guns, the matchlock guns. So the gunsmith shop, we got lead. Oh, start science. That might help. Let me hit start science. We'll use the lead we're producing. We believe we've got plenty of military science bags or we should be making those now. Linen bags, linen pouch. 
Yeah, military science bags, we got plenty. So this should kick in as our researchers get to work. I think we're okay on the zombie defense. I haven't looked real close lately. Ooh, boy, these guys are getting pretty close. Wow. Wow. We may need to think about the crossbow research. Look at this. They are making it into the column. And it's the, uh, I think we're at our weakest right before the double shift. Then the double shift comes up, up the overlap between the daytime and the nighttime shift. And these guys just really t chew them back. Fight off the zombies. But that is dangerously close. That was dangerously close. They're coming down the main chute here. So that may be a priority as well. Wow. All right. That's it for now. Uh, this is Glattercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on Colony Survival. Tons of fun. Love this game. Uh, man, there's there's <laughs> there's a lot to do, but I want to get moving on the tech tree. Uh, and, and, and get on that glider and go set up another colony. All right. Again. Or now, Glider Hit signing off saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.